And we are back. 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 My one name year is Bob. Later. Oh, one year later. What? It's one been one year? year since the last roadmap. Oh my God! It's been actually one year. You're time, right. Time flies. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. What? You know that? <laughs> no, okay. no, don't mind me. All right. All right. Welcome to the roadmap stream. My name yeah. is Pavel Bujan. I'm as always joined by Jason, Jason Slama. Slama. Yeah. Exactly. Game director That's for Gwenta Witcher card game. Mm -hmm. How are you, Jason? Today. I am yeah. F. Beeping uh, sick. There you go. For oh, playing bingo. bingo. Bingo, we already Let's got go. one. Let's go. You got it. That's as close as you'll get, I yeah. hope, this evening. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not feeling too well. No, but I'll be okay. I just wanted to be here no matter what because we've been wanting to do this for so long yes. now. Yes. So and nice we have a lot of things to talk about today and it will take some start, some time. But we need to start with the recap of 2019. I think that's what we'll start with. Yep. And after that, uh, we'll talk about the immediate future. Yes. We'll also talk about uh, the things we want to improve moving on to next year. Yep. Um, Esports, of course, because that's the topic that everybody's waiting for. And Android release. That's also something that we need to cover today. Yep. And apart from that, at the end, we'll have a Q&A session where you can ask Jason questions. You can also ask me some questions if you have any for me. Another Q&A. Yes. Yay. And we'll try to answer as many as possible. We're going to get before. some awkward questions, aren't we? Um, I hope we'll get awkward questions because I I love awkward questions those and I want best. more of those. Yes. 2019 in review, Jason. Since right. Let's talk about this year. It's been a very, very busy year for you, for the whole team. Yeah. We achieved a lot of things. For and sure. the biggest one that we have to cover starting off are the three expansions that we had. Yeah, we gave ourselves a goal of, of trying to get quite a few expansions out this year. It's been a challenge for all of us to go from the beginning because when we started the, this year, there was almost nothing ready for that expansion. So mm -hmm. it's, the first one definitely was a, a challenge. It's the first one that we've made in a long yeah. time. And um, yeah, we, get, we, we knew we needed to just keep moving forward while figuring out the game. And the expansions mm -hmm. have been a key milestone into adding yeah. key content into the game and helping yeah. us figure shit out. So we started off with Crimson Curse. So that was the one that I was yep. very excited for. We brought five new leader abilities to the game, uh, new mechanics, and also bleeding, poison, vampires. The whole yeah, theme was very yeah, cool. Yeah. I remember the trailer we had with Detloff. It was it was something some, yeah, that... Yeah, there were some cool leaders coming there. And I think it was originally called Blood and Wine expansion, but I yes. felt weird about having an expansion called exactly mm -hmm. like a Witcher expansion. So yep. that was a tough one to try and glue all this artwork that had already been made and turn it into a coherent expansion. And mm -hmm. from then on, it got a little bit easier as we had more freedom to make new stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then we moved on to Novigrad, uh, where we introduced a new faction. Like, we were teasing that we're working on a new faction, and we yeah. weren't going into specifics until we actually introduced it. And we went with something different, and we introduced a syndicate. Right? It was, it was, it was really fun to add a new piece of lore. I especially mm -hmm. enjoyed writing, writing those lore, pe lore, lore papers. Yes. Uh, it was a lot of work. Yeah, and then I think enough that I don't really feel like personally doing it yeah. again anytime soon. So no. sorry if you guys are looking forward to that. But we do have a yeah. writer now, uh, full time on our project, yeah. helping potentially set up mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. For yeah, the and the with that came five new leaders, mm -hmm. new mechanics, and then the sixth one was Dijkstra, who came in a little bit later, a month later. Yeah, that, that, that was actually planned from the very beginning, like from yeah. like five six months before we even launched it, because I wanted to try and stretch an expansion out, or at least pieces of it, mm -hmm. over months, just so that it's not like we drop an expansion and then nothing else happens yeah. anymore. So that was definitely fun. Yeah, plan. fees, bounties, all that stuff. I remember there were some problems with the meta over there, but <laughs> yeah, it took, was fixed took quite some time quickly. to figure it out. Yeah, There's a lot of new yeah. mechanics with Syndicate, yeah. and I think yeah. we're still trying to polish everything. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, but we've made a huge progress, I feel. Yes, and then last one was Iron Judgment, which was uh, named at the beginning Rise of Radovid, and it was the Rise of Radovid. I wanted to bring Radovid back in a really cool way. Mm -hmm. It still ended up being more armor themed than Radovid. It's armor hard mechanic, to make a whole exactly. expansion around one character from one faction, mm -hmm. so we kind of had to figure out a way to brand it a bit differently, yeah. but I'm really happy. Yeah. Uh, with that, how that one turned out, especially the trailer. I think it's my favorite trailer this year so far. Yeah, yeah, it was really too. fun to make. Yeah, it was a lot of work went in from the whole team actually to, to make that trailer work. Yeah, but that was, it was a tough awesome. one for us. Yeah, yeah the, the trailers for all the expansions and uh, you know, all our new video content is actually done inside the Gwent team now. It's yeah. this year. So let's. Yeah, we also the, had Zeri Canyon. There's been a learning Radovid. curve to figuring that out. Yeah. yeah. Zeri Canyon, Radovid skin, yeah. um, armor mechanic, defender mechanic. Yes. So all these things that we wanted back into the game. Um, so yeah, yeah, the trailer was awesome, like you said, I yeah, loved it. It was really fun. Apart from that, uh, we continued what we promised in the beginning was to have monthly updates yes. and, and of course seasons, yes. as well as hot fixes. 
So yeah, that, that was something yeah. that we promised in the last mm -hmm. roadmap, and it's something that I think we're going to keep doing moving forward, is to just regularly update the game in some capacity. Yeah. Uh, to have ourselves ready to release something new every month, uh, whether it's small or big. Mm -hmm. uh, although historically this year, things have been bigger than small in most yeah. months. Exactly. Uh, you started off with this trend in the beginning to kind of improve the quality of life because we were straight yes. after homecoming. There were some things that we wanted to address uh, in terms of like faster animations. Yes. Some things to look smoother, act in a smoother way to make gameplay, you know, smoother again. I mean, it, it, to it, repeat for it's third been time. a bumpy road. Yeah. Like yeah. recently we, we, we tried to decouple animation times from the game mm -hmm. and we came yeah. into some timer yeah. issues between the players. Although I yeah. think it's pretty stable and, 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 and good, feels good right mm -hmm. now. It's funny how when you're, when, you're, when you're making a feature, it's the little details that even though they'll work the same in both cases, the perception will be different. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, uh, in the shop, when you finish uh, opening a keg, there's a little confirmation pop-up. I think we're going to remove that and just removing that, although there's other things we're doing, will make mm -hmm. the whole keg opening experience yeah. be faster. We're yeah. still confirming it in the background. We still have to accept those errors, but... Uh, we've been fighting really hard as a team to really yeah. improve the speed of things. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I remember that was very, very crucial and very important for you to to have the game act in a in a very smooth and intuitive way, let's say. So yeah. Um, but yeah, we started the Mulligan update in the yes. beginning. Uh, later, we were working on drag and drop features, so faster animations. After that, row identity, of course, we wanted to rows yep. matter more. I will admit that yeah. that row pop up happens every now and then yeah. to save my yeah. My Tushi from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from Tushi, nice. Tushi mm. from, from <laughs> a, a, a little mistake. And, and of course, people will still remind me that it's drag and drop, not drag, drag on, and drop. Yeah. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Drag I'm and just drop. speaking fast, yeah. but it's funny. I like it. Interactive game boards, improved shadows on the battlefield. And I yep. think something that is considered something small, but for me is very big, is the change f to the overall first time user experience. And I know this was a big project that you also took on. I mean, I think we still have work to do yeah. in, in onboarding players. Gwent mm -hmm. is a pretty complex game yeah. and it's pretty big. I mean, we made already two Gwent guides and I think I want to make a few more, but yeah. there's, there's even more things that we want to do uh, to help players onboard into our game. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think we've definitely made some substantial yeah. progress. Yeah. And after that, uh, of course, another big one, um, the decoupling of leader abilities. So, right, that was that was still a controversial one. And I think some yeah. people still don't fully love that change, but yeah. I think others see the value in it. Mm -hmm. And later we'll probably tease something that is only possible because we've done that. So We will cool. have leaks. Yes, leaks, you can mark it in bingo as crossed out. Yes, the word leaks the word. has been said. Uh, I haven't talked about food yet, but I will get to that one <laughs> later, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so those were some things that we were already talking like a year ago, like you yeah. said on the previous stream. And um, yeah, uh, another thing that I talked about a little bit, a little bit was the seasonal modes. Yeah. And um, I think they also deserve a separate mention here, because almost half of our player base actually play mm. those seasonal modes, and they like them. Yeah. Uh, with the draconid one, I remember being the most popular one, the one where you had eight seconds to play. Yeah, a card. I think that was because the turns were really fast. So yeah. It was a bit easier to grind your resources, yeah. but it also kind of showed that people really want Gwent to be faster. Exactly. In general. I know mm -hmm. we had a few flaws with it, especially for people yeah. using controllers to try and execute their turns yeah. within that very short time yeah. window. But it was, it was it allowed us to experiment, it allowed us to do fun things, it allowed us to inject something fresh. And of course we want to continue this. Like we want yeah. to have more seasonal modes, more crazy ideas, and we actually want to Keep tweaking it, improving exactly. it. Like mm -hmm. maybe our least popular seasonal events will change a yeah. bit next year. But I think the themes yeah. will stay as they've been because we kind of established a calendar. Uh, but soon the year of the wild boar will end and we'll start the year of, I'm thinking it's going to be the dire rat, but the we'll dire see. Rat, yes. <laughs> yes. It's that hard to find idea. names for things. Yeah. 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 Uh, and of course we added a lot of new vanities to the game and this is something that for sure we want to continue. Like, you know, card backs, theater skins, avatars, borders, game boards, constantly there was something you think. I love the sh ship uh, board. The ship board I turned out way better than I had hoped. Yeah. In the sense that is just I think the motion of the water on the edges just adds something fresh yeah. and makes it all feel a bit more alive than exactly. the other boards. Uh, but generally this kind of follows our mandate to try and monetize vanities a bit more than actual gameplay, mm -hmm. which is something that you yeah. know we don't want people struggling and having to spend 
fortunes to keep up with their collection and exactly. with other players. Exactly. Yeah, but it's something cool. It's something we want to continue. Like, want to create more vanities. Yeah, I know definitely. the team has a lot of fun with even doing like simple <laughs> recolors of some of the card backs well, and stuff like that. But they I, look totally different. Def and, definitely. And fresh. But I think what, what what's a funny story here is is one of our one of our artists. Mm -hmm. uh, decided that borders should become like hats that they kind of come on top of people. Oh, nice! That, that was her idea, and she, and she just really loved it and really sold it. Mm -hmm. And that's why you'll notice more and more of our like the borders that we're selling is like uh, some sort of yeah. They're kind of shifting the character yeah, a little they, bit. They, yeah, they, they they can make really funny combinations with the avatars. So you know yeah. that that comes from a really cool creative team spirit. That exactly. I'm super proud of uh, to be the leader of. Yeah, and some other features that I also wanted to highlight. Um, you know that kind of improve the experience of the game outside of the game in some way so complementing the game client on, on its own so yeah. refer a friend uh, yeah. a program that um, which we I had, think we're still trying to improve yeah and we're trying to improve and also I saw that a lot of people were interested in this one uh, when we introduced the game to iOS which I, we'll be talking I, about I later I think what, what we haven't shown it yet and we won't today but I, I still want to mention it because I think it's super cool mm -hmm. I think if, if you do at least one refer friend and we're going to make that a bit easier for everyone we're going to give you a border of Siri hugging the avatar Aww. So it's like refer. It's it's super cute. It's cute. See it. It's pretty That's fun. That's nice. Aww. Uh, I, I can't like wait that. to share that one. It's 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 really, really awesome good. stuff that you guys come up with. Yeah, and then um, Gwent library for the net decking needs of all players. Yeah. I don't like net decking as you guys know, but still yeah, I. I like the idea of the library overall because. But it's nice know. to share a deck, yeah. Like yeah. Here, here's my deck. What do you guys think? Yeah. And, I, and I have seen people using it that way. Rating like, it. This is this is this is what my deck is. Can you guys give me some tips? Although I, think... I actually like the idea of uh, having this community element where someone creates something, adds Shares a video, yeah. how to use it, how it works. I love it. Yeah. 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 I love that. And then Gwent Observer, yes, which needs to be mentioned here because that one made me really excited. So I, think, I think we'll probably Twitch. also polish and add a few quality of, of life improvements yeah. to it next year. Yeah, uh, it's something that we think is important to spend a bit of time on. It's we juggle a lot of things in a year, guys. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's impressive to me the the team was able to come together and achieve so many goals, small and big. Uh, it, it's, it's been really scary and you're, you're juggling a lot of things yeah. and a lot of topics, but definitely the team really came together this year and yeah, I'm, I also I'm really remember proud like throughout this year like shifting focus from one thing to another like guys we need to stop working on this we need to focus on yeah. this more because yeah especially with the next topic that we're moving on to right now, which is the big one, which that is iOS tough. launch. Yeah, that one was tough for us. We needed to do, like you guys needed to also do a lot of things before we came in on iOS because we're like, oh, okay, we need to work on uh, first time user experience, we need to work on animations, we need to change the UI, we need to do this and that, yep. and the things were kind of like piling up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, until we made it to the, to the, you know, to, 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 to the We definitely, we definitely took a bit of our time to try and get it as polished as possible, yeah. and we, there, there were other things that we wanted to do this year that we never talked about that we kind of pushed aside to try and polish the mobile version as yeah. much as possible. And, and yeah. I mean, the reception was was great, and it yeah. is great because four point eight yeah. app rating was pretty yeah. something we're pretty proud 4. of. Four point eight globally on on the app store. So thank you everyone who has commented. Thank uh, you, you for know. your love. And also a huge shout out to the community here because you guys have been like uh, introducing new players to the game, talking about supporting it, how them to really supporting well. yeah. uh, our content creators have been creating more uh, beginner friendly content, which is you know of course helping us um, kind of introduce the new players to yep. that sort of thing. So thank you for welcoming the new players. It's awesome. Bardzo dziękuję. Oh, very nice Polish. No. Okay, um, of course, yeah, the idea was for Gwen on iOS to be equal to P PC version, and I think uh, we achieved that. So sharing your progress in between platforms was important. Yeah. Everything was super smooth. I remember when I, when I even first got the first um, version on iOS yeah. and I tried it on my phone, like uh, on test flight, I was like, wow, this game works smooth. Yeah, like there, there, butter. there's definitely improvements that we want to make. Like there's, I think, a little setting that we never yeah. turned on that stops the game from uh, your phone from going into sleep. Mm -hmm. Which is actually really annoying when you're in the match mm -hmm. and your phone locks yeah, and you yeah. lose internet connection. So like, there's little, lots of little improvements yeah. that we're yeah. that are coming in the next few months that are gonna make yeah. mobile version even better. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about you know cross-platform progression a little bit later. We'll also we'll talk about Android later because I already mentioned in the beginning. Uh, and before we talk about the future, we actually have a special video that is from our. Gwen team. So this was super fun to make. I this hope was you guys fun to make. It. We had a lot of fun with it. So please enjoy it and let us know if you like it. 2019 was a great year for Gwent the Witcher card game. We had free expansions, Crimson Card, Novigrad, Iron Judgment, and 
We are working on the next one. 12 updates. 9 hotfixes. New faction. The Syndicate. 270 new cards. With awesome premiums. New audio. I did a weird thing with my eyes. <laughs> Faster animations. Drag and drop. Smoother gameplay. Deck builder improvements. A lot of QAing to do. Tons of new art. So many vanities. New borders. New titles. New avatars. New card bugs. And game birds. Fantastic 3D models. Leader skins. With your favorite Zerikanian Radovid. Faction. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> iOS launch. Holy f iOS launch. Fantastic events. Went open number eight and challenger number five. Seasonal mode. Seasonal trees. New contracts. Thousands of tickets resolved. A lot of front end development. Over 20 live events. Faction challenges. Leader challenges. Went partners. Twitch extension. Gwent Observer. 16 new leaders. Rise of Radovid. And we made a wonderful Gudrun animation. The Shoop Challenge. <laughs> Letters from Walter Veritas. 12 new mechanics. Many new keywords. First time user experience. Tutorial changes. And many newsletters. Over 40 tweaks. 11 streams. Hundreds of new forum users. Thousands of tweets. Almost 14,000 people on our official Discord server. And we're planning some cool stuff for coming holidays. All right, finally, let's go. <laughs> it wouldn't be possible without you, the great community. So now we would like to thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Dziękuję. Veliki dziękuję. Mi jeszcze. Thank you. Teşekkürler. Dzięki. Spasiba. Dziękuję, Sabre. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie. Merci. Thank you. Dziękujemy. Ogromne spasiba. Mulțumesc frumos. Valeu, galera. Thank you. Dziękuję. Obrigado. Cheers. Dziękuję. Spasiba. Thank you. <laughs> dziękujemy, dziękujemy. <laughs> thank you. And we're back. And thank you, because Aww. that was the most important message of <laughs> yeah. the video. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for being part of the community. Like I said, thank you for welcoming new players. And yeah, thank you for all the ongoing support. And also thank you for the bad messages, because we also <laughs> like those, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, I love those. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the future then. Yeah, let's, um, get, let's jump into it. So um, yeah, Android release. I think that's the, that's the big one. That's the first one, but uh, first let's answer a very popular question. Why we went iOS first? Yes. So we went iOS first uh, for many reasons. It was a bit easier for us to develop less devices. That's for sure. That's the common one. But it also gives us a lot of opportunity while iOS is live to really polish the mobile experience yeah. before we go to Android. It would have been a bit too much for us this year to mm -hmm. do both at the same time and do the expansions and do all these quality of life improvements. So yeah. we had to delay one of them. But on the plus side, and this has been mentioned by people, and I, and I really believe it's true, I believe the Android version will come out better than if it came out now, just because it'll get the advantage of everything that we've learned and yeah. that we'll be doing for iOS yeah. during that time. So Yeah, we're still learning how mobile works overall as a platform. Yeah, we haven't really done and it as a company much yeah, before. Yeah. While we do have some people that have experience with the mm -hmm. mobile market before on the team, it is still something as a company that we have to learn uh, mm -hmm. how to master. And I think that's definitely uh, a key factor to the decision to make them in that order. Exactly. Um, so expect more awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we'll, yeah, we'll stick to what we've been saying, which will be that it'll be in the first quarter of mm -hmm. next year. Yeah? Yes. Q1 2020, mm. as we said before, yeah, that's the because a lot of people are still asking about it, so yep. we can confirm that. that we happening. can confirm that, and we'll give you a more specific date in the near future. I hope. Yeah. All right. Um, let's talk a little bit about consoles now. So when we launched Gwent back in 2017, our intention was to provide console players with the same level of support as on PC. Yep. However. Having just launched Gwen on iOS and with Android, like you mentioned, coming next, uh, the number of supported platforms would significantly increase in this time. And look into the future, um, we don't think that we can support fully uh, the number of growing platforms and, you know, having the same um, level mm -hmm. of support on them. Yep. Um, and of course, considering that PC and mobile is the, the biggest one, 
Um, for us with, at least. Yeah, for us at least, and where the most players choose to play. Uh, we have made a very tough decision very tough because decision. it wasn't it wasn't easy uh, to discontinue support of the console version of the game. Yeah. Yep. So uh, what does this mean? So um, starting from December 9th, uh, Gwent on consoles will be essentially frozen um, in its current state. So there will be no updates, no new seasons, no new expansions and, or, or content drops. Uh, real money purchases will be disabled effective immediately. Yep. So we're not just spending money on something that we're no longer supporting. Exactly. So nobody feels like, you know, um, it's not going to... You know, you cannot be spending on something that's not going to be supported. And yeah, matchmaking with other platforms will no longer work. And yeah, they won't be on the same version. Yeah. Yes, so that's yeah, so we'll be on a different version. And after six months of this frozen update state, uh, for, you know, starting from now, Gwent will be delisted from console stores. Yep. However, However. Uh, we um, talked with our partners and we've come up with a solution to mitigate the negative impact in this uh, of this move, of course. Yep. And all Gwen players on consoles will be offered an option to copy their account progress and purchases uh, from their current platform to GOG, uh, which, which will is allow them to play on mobile PC platforms. and mobile platforms, of course. Um, and this opportunity will be available during the whole six-month period um, until shutdown. Yep. Um, so we're letting you keep all your stuff, basically. Yes. And we pretty much believe that this is a good solution for the affected players. So, your, yeah, like you said, your progress purchases won't be lost. Yep. Um, so you'll we'll have an option to copy everything. Um, the process will be very easy. Uh, yes. We will have an account copying website, so a dedicated website for this, where you will be to, uh, able to log in. This will launch on the 9th of December. Yes, it will, very soon, next um, week, yeah? Yeah, next Monday. week, Monday, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you will need to provide your support ID, username, uh, of your existing console account and login information we'll just of make the a, GOG account. A clone, yeah, a copy of everything. Yes. So you'll, you'll, yes. you'll still have your stuff on consoles during the six yes. months period, but the clone can only happen once. Yeah. So. Also, since you are watching this, you will see the news uh, regarding this with the whole letter from us stating how the whole process will look up on our website. So go to playgwent.com, news section, you have all the information there. Um, because, we're, like I said, we're just highlighting some of the things that will happen. Um, yeah. And of course, um, the most important things is that you will have some features back um, now since you'll be playing on uh, on mobile. Yes. So um, yeah, this is what we want to do. Some and things that you've never been able to do on consoles yeah. will now, while well, your account yeah. after being cloned, will yeah. have access to you know all these yeah. extensions that we've been talking yeah. about. Yeah. But apart from that, for the six month period from today, when on consoles will be operational, so you can keep playing. But please remember that you will be playing only in a smaller group. But like I said, um, yep. most of you already been asking about this and wanted to transfer your account. So this is like a one time clone, like you said, that we yes, can do that's, of the account. That's the compromise and, we yeah. came to. Yeah. That was a hard one. Yeah, that was not. I'm, I'm glad you did the talking. I'm a bit tired, and I'm not sure I would have yeah. been able to do it justice. Yes. So that's that's it. Um, yeah, that wasn't easy. That wasn't easy. All right. Let's move on to the other things that yes, have come Yes, that's to not come. the end of the yes. stream. Thank God. Okay. Whew. No, no, no. That <laughs> would be a sad note to end on. Right. So, new expansions. Yeah. So we're gonna keep making expansions. Yes. Yeah? They're fun. They add mm -hmm. really cool content into the game. Yeah, uh, we released three, like we said in the beginning. Yeah, uh, more are coming. Um, Next we're one's just yeah. around the corner, mm -hmm. coming fast. Yeah, like we're overall yeah. happy with yeah. the expansions, but sometimes everything was a little bit hectic. Like we had some delays on premiums, for example, like they were coming in a month later. Yeah, and uh, I think the overall idea for 2020 yeah. is to focus on the quality and improving the quality of the overall product. Yeah, so I, this expansion. I, in this I think case. I think we gave ourselves a really really. Mm, tough challenge this year when it came to expansions. You'll notice yeah. that they've been coming steady every three months, uh, and, and, and we've kept to that rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's been really hard to jump from expansion to expansion on that rhythm. So we're going to keep making them, but we may space them out a bit more, mm -hmm. mm, a bit more further apart next year, but it yeah. would open us up to do a lot of cool other things yeah. in Gwent. Uh, and I think with the way that we do our balance passes and we're not afraid to, to improve and revamp stuff, that we can manage to keep the game fresh without necessarily yeah. releasing expansion every three months. Yeah. And I also know that you guys want to work on other quality of life. That, there's no way we're talking about 
a lot of the things that we want to do yeah. next year today. Yeah, like we won't. We only a year's will a cover, long time. You we know? only cover like, some of the things that we want yeah. to do, and there's a lot of things that we have planned that we cannot share yet because we want to give them a proper introduction. Um, when the time when, comes. Yeah, when the time is yeah. right. Uh, speaking of new expansions, mm -hmm. we actually have something to share with you. So we'll show you two arts for the next expansion. This one you already saw. Uh, we teased it on the mm. announcement post, so on the banners that we had. Yeah. So yeah. What, what, what should I say about it? It's it's her. Well, I don't know what her real name is, but she's known as the Crow Mother. Well, you can tell that by the crows that she... are flocking around her leads a clan of druids in Skellige, a reclusive, very unknown clan. That's and people here thought it's monsters. It is not it's monsters. It's some current. weavis version human form. In the next Nobody expansion, we will be focusing on druids with a focus on this clan crow led by the crow mother. And I think she's super cool and creepy and awesome. And I think Skellige can definitely pull that off. So that's really cool. Dark. So that one you saw, <laughs> but we actually have another one, which is kind of a curveball. Like, what is this? What's that? Totally doesn't fit the first one. It is not an artifact. And it's not an artifact. It is not it's a, a unit. New it's a new type of card. There will be a new type of card in the next mm. expansion. Uh, keep up to date on what's coming. I think uh, the general philosophy with expansions, especially mm -hmm. the next one, will be to focus on adding, let's say, one core new mechanic. One something big, and this card represents that. Uh, and then try to flesh out the existing archetypes, both with those cards and the rest of the cards in the expansion. So I gave I gave the design team a very strict goal for the next expansion to try mm -hmm. and flesh out existing archetypes instead yeah. of doing something like Crimson Curse, which just created a whole bunch of new stuff. So uh, yeah, those are really cool, and I'm really excited to be able to share what that card is with you soon. Jason, is it Sihil 2.0? It is Sihil 3.0. We okay. skipped 2.0. I don't know why I used a camera. Well, yeah, I don't know why. It was, it, was, it was a good There's mic. no need for that mic, but yes. okay. I just want to double check. <laughs> all right. Um, like I said, these are only some of the things. And like I mentioned before, there are some really cool things that we want to talk about, but we need to flesh them out fully. Yes. But something that we have fleshed out and everybody has been waiting for is can I get an E for esports in chat? Esports. E yes. Esports. E e e sports. Oh what did I say my that? god. Finally, I don't have to use GIFs which show me hiding from people asking about <laughs> esports. See, we got an E for esports. We, we got an E for esports. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. E for esports. <laughs> Finally. All right. Oh god, this is a big topic. It's and a it's a good big one. one. Um, All right, you yeah. guys are super passionate about esports. We have a lot of awesome players. Who I have think been it's sticking like with one us. of the top wanted discussions for yes. this road. And we have actually. Legion Weekly talking about esports on Twitter. So, <laughs> yes. And we get it. We're also disappointed by the extreme length of season one and the lack of communication from my side. I'm sorry about that. We're it's all not, sorry it's, about it's that. Really, it's really not his fault. He's been chained to the oh. basement so that he can't talk about esports. But it, Why are you talking about my personal life? <laughs> sorry. This isn't about me. This is about Gwent. But um, yeah, this, this is something that we really wanted to iron out yes. properly before talking about. It's why we've delayed it. We came very close to being ready, but there was change in plans and exactly what we wanted to do with yeah. season two, which is why Bouja got end up in a slightly pickle. I got unchained. You got, but now you're unchained. So actually, maybe you want to do the honors and uh, start yes. announcing this. So let's start with the most important one. Season one final. We haven't ended season one. When is it happening? It's happening in March 2020. It's already. happening. Yes, it's going to happen in exact Warsaw. Exact date should be coming soon, but it'll be mm -hmm. in Warsaw in March of yes. next year. Yes. More details coming on that, but those are the most important things. Do, 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 are we gonna wait for season two to end? Uh, season one to end? Nah. Start season two? Nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for we're that. We're not waiting for anything. We're, nope. we're going in. So, Zero. season two, because that's the big question. Season two, I, I saw the memes, like season two and a skeleton next to it, stuff like that. I saw it, I saw it. I, <laughs> I know, I get it. So, you know, what's, what's, what's gonna happen? So, it's happening. Season two is happening. Yes. Don't worry about it. Um, there's a lot of things we learned from season one, things and we, we also learned a lot of things about doing esports in a better like. state, which we uh, didn't like to to a full extent. I think we, I think we went really crazy all in for season one yes. and made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And with season two, you'll notice that we're going for quite a different format. And one big important change is the season will last one year. One exactly year. Exactly one year. Only one we're year. We're not going to do this yes. three year, two year and a half, when's the next yes. thing? And we're, we're going to commit to that. And to talk about season two, we prepared a lovely infographic to showcase what are our plans. So there it is. 
Yes. Okay. So two qualifiers each month. Yep. Four Gwen Opens planned in the, in the whole year and a season finale at the end. Yes. Um, we'll have more official events in 2020 than we had in previous Gwen Master history. So it's awesome. And everything starts off in January already. So that's where Pro Rank comes back to life. So the resurrection of Pro Rank. And yeah, we'll be introducing also other ways to take part in Gwent Masters. Uh, not only as a viewer pro player, but we also want to provide esports fans out there to support their favorite players in some different ways. We're yeah. thinking about ways how the community can influence um, the overall esports in a way to contributing to the prize pool in this case. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely we're definitely going to look in ways to, help, to have you guys, you know, help us support the prize pool to mm -hmm. make it more interesting. We'll definitely chip in regardless of what you guys yes. uh, support for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think the important thing to note here is there will be something happening every month. Every yes. pro rank season will matter mm -hmm. and we'll contribute to two qualifiers mm -hmm. and there will be regular events throughout the year. Yes. Uh, and, and, and we'll be talking about later about some of the tools that we've been preparing all year, yes. which one of the reasons we delayed uh, talking about it to help us do this even better. But definitely what we wanted is much more frequent events exactly. uh, that don't necessarily are such high budget, every mm -hmm. everything, but let us do it more frequently yeah. so you guys can really engage uh, yeah. on this Especially level. Especially bigger focus on online and we'll get to why big focus on online because like you said, we have some tools prepared for that. And moving on, we want to do opens here in our studio because we have a prepared venue for that. And we want to end it off with a, with a nice finale at the end. And the idea, like you said, is to have a, a very nice tempo cadence of things happening um, throughout it's, the whole it's, year. It's been a dry year where like yeah. pro rank hasn't mattered and that's something that's personally yeah. bothered me for quite a while. That we have this pro rank yeah. but without anything for mm -hmm. it to support and uh, we know we wanted to go to this one year format like a while ago yeah. which is why we almost talked about it before. Uh, but we knew that we were starting in January no matter what if we were yeah. doing a season two and when we figured out all the details we talked about mm -hmm. it. So sorry for the delay in communication but it wouldn't have really changed our plans significantly yeah. in terms of timetable. Yeah. Yeah, and also, uh, like, I, like I mentioned, we're looking for other ways how we can pretty much enhance uh, esports and how we can have the community influence the price pool overall. Yeah. Uh, so kind of you guys can chip in. It's definitely something we, we want to try with season yeah. two. See, yeah. see how you guys feel about it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's support the esports scene and let's let's move on because yeah, like I said, I'm really excited for <laughs> season two. Yeah, season two. Yeah, I remember when uh, the overall we decided the plan for season two. Everybody was like. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, it was a breath of fresh air. And yeah. All right, let's um, move on. Before we move on um, to the tools that you were talking about that were yes. esports oriented, yes. I want to jump back and talk about Arena yes. uh, update because that's also something quite yeah. important. That, that, that was a question last year mm -hmm. in our roadmap, I believe. And I, yeah. and, I, and I answered, I guess, truthfully, that we weren't going to spend any time on Arena this year. Mm -hmm. And we haven't done anything significant in Arena this yeah. year. Apart from changing um, when you choose your leader. So at the beginning, yes, the that, end was of the a, draft. that was a definitely low cost costs, quality of life change, but generally mm -hmm. Arena has remained the same. Yes. Uh, 2020, I want to spend more time on Arena because yeah. especially after iOS launch, I got back into trying Arena and mm -hmm. I feel like it has not stood the test of time. And while mm -hmm. it might have been okay uh, when we launched it, uh, not even, yeah, last year, early last year, it really, it's, it's a problematic mode that has a lot of major flaws in it. And yeah. I don't think a little Band-Aid will solve Arena. Uh, I think we need to make some fundamental changes to make it a more compelling and fun mode. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, like, like um, when we were talking about these changes internally, uh, I really like what you said um, to, the, to the whole team pretty much that the problem currently with Arena is you have some cards which are very faction specific. One of the problems. Yes, one of the problems is yeah. that are very faction specific. Like you have some cards which will not work outside of other factions uh, and you will most likely not draft them. Stability, uh, where it's short, Righteous Zeal yeah. is, is, is a clear example of if you don't draft at least three order cards from Northern Realms, it's yeah. a dead leader ability. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So you have to pretty much sequence everything you choose from it and it like I, I, I don't work. think I'm ready to talk yeah. about all the changes I want to yeah. do for Arena but like the that specific one the solution I want to do is I want yeah. to make Arena specific leader abilities uh, that are super wacky and fun and, and, and play really well I think the two examples I keep using on the team is, is one is uh, a Shoop leader ability that just plays Shoop just for the people who love Shoop. I think that'd be really Shoop. fun I don't know if we'll actually do it but that's the one idea I've been throwing around and the other one is something like uh, 
spawn a copy of all bronze cards in your starting deck mm -hmm. and add it to your deck for arena, which would be like really good for arena so that when you draft cards that care about multiple yeah. copies of bronzes, they're actually valid in a deck in arena. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to do that kind of stuff in yeah. arena. <laughs> The comments are fun sometimes. Repic yeah. should be a leader. Yeah, he, he's, tied leader. Shoop, like, he's tied to Shoop. He's tied to Shoop. They're bonded. There, there, there's more I want to do with Arena, especially with the drafting. I also yeah. think the drafting has some serious flaws in it. And I think it's also needs some love from a visuals point of yeah. view. Like it hasn't had any major uh, overhaul since we launched it. And I think oh. it's due to catch up to the rest of the game. So expect us to improve Arena next year. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we have Arena out of the way. So. We're yeah. talking about tournaments. Yeah. And we're talking about esports overall. And in order to do that, uh, I think we need something to help us. And we've already announced that there will be a lot of tournaments happening next year, especially community driven online versions of it. And we actually have some um, work in progress screenshots of the tournament web platform we're working on. So we're actually working on a web, web platform that will let you. Just for Gwent, with our tournament format and yes. you know, fully integrated yes. into our game. Yes, and we can actually, I think, show the screenshots in a second. So this will be the best way to kind of uh, for community to organize their own tournaments. Yeah. And uh, there are a lot of community tournaments that are happening all the time. I know because I've been sending out prizes for these. So the premium kegs and the meteorite powder for these. And we want to give back to the community. You guys have been working on this and, you know, dedicating your own time. Yep. You were trying to find sponsors, budget, like we had in Luca Games. We had the biggest, um, you know, uh, esports final for Europe, which was amazing. And yeah, and, you know, this will be a platform that will be connected with Gwen's client via API. So you can expect pretty much anything, automated, automated match notifications, match results, other fun functions that make the whole tool kind of work. And yeah, or it'll just make competitive players happy. And if we want to move more into the online uh, version of the tournaments, we need to have a platform. So this is kind of, um, and it's actually in the final stages of development. Yep, and it's something we've been yeah. working on all year. Uh, we plan to launch early 2020. Like, like there's nothing yep. more to add. Like we need, since we're starting uh, esports very early, we need to have this. Like you we're can see the bracket. Crossing T's, dotting I's right now. Yes. Getting the final integrations in. Yeah. This is something coming in the very yeah. near future. And since this is this, the, the, the platform is supposed to be a base for the whole thing, and of course you guys have been watching our esports um, events, and you saw that we have an in-house spectator mode. So of course we've been yep. talking about spectator a lot. It's actually on the bingo chart, so you can cross that out. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, spectator is something that we want to introduce to the to the community. So not only you can have a platform where you do the whole tournament, the brackets and everything, but you can also spectate it, stream it, and create more community content. It, it's it's going to take us a bit more time to prepare everything. Yes. Spectator is actually something that's yes. hard to maintain and, yes. and set up for us. Like we usually we use, understand the importance and that it needs to come. We usually right? have to make custom builds for our tournaments mm -hmm. here, but um, the fact is we're not far from doing it, and what yeah. we want to do is as soon as we can, that if you host a tournament, you can set yourself up as a spectator, join a match as mm -hmm. a spectator in a yeah. tournament only. We won't be doing like, hey, my buddy's playing a match right now. I want to go spectate him. It will be focused mostly on people doing tournaments where mm -hmm. we think is spectators yeah. the most important. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I love it because, yeah, it's a way to give back to the community, especially to um, the community that is focused more on esports and on the sporty side, let's say, and, and the competitive side of Gwent. Yeah. Which for us is very <laughs> important. Like you said, we wanted um, Pro Rank to be back and that's yes. the whole idea to have it back. And just generally for, for people to be able to have fun mm -hmm. with the competitive side of Gwent. Yeah, so moving to 2020, um, we want to keep the overall cadence of having uh, monthly updates in the game. Yes, um, definitely. That is something that we will stick to. Of course, we will have hot fixes when needed. Um, yes. So that's also something that is uh, happening. And quality of life is still a big topic that you guys want to focus and, on. And it's something that we'll keep working on. I have no idea mm -hmm. when next year we'll be able to release some of these things. Yeah. But like I think high up on my list are a few things. One is like... When a unit takes damage, uh, we want to add sounds of it like yeah. re reacting to that damage. So, you know, <laughs> Trebuchet will make wood cracking sounds when it gets hit, and, you know, a Priestess will go, ah! Oh, wait, I was going to be quoted on that. Anyways, uh, note to Jason don't quote yourself as a Priestess. Um, yeah, we want to add more VFX for when status effects comes and goes. We don't represent that visually super well right now, and that's definitely something we want to spend time on. Uh, yeah. We want to spend time working on how cards slam on the board. I don't think we'll ever 
do one per card, where every yeah. single card has a unique effect when it slams on the yeah. board, but we definitely want to spend more time adding in like really satisfying impacts when that happens. So we'll keep po polishing animations, we'll keep uh, doing all this stuff that we didn't really have time to do this year, uh, but we definitely want to do yeah. this year. Like, all these quality improvements, yeah. things are easy to miss, yeah, yeah. or they, they can be very subtle, uh, like yeah. just not waiting for the leader animation, but they do take time. And so I feel like we finally reached the point at the end of this year where the core critical stuff of our, of our game is pretty stable and the flow is feeling pretty good. And I think now it's time to really start polishing uh, yeah. the rest of the user experience as yeah. much as possible. Yeah, yeah. I like how Jason Slama is talking about cards slamming on the board. That's a bad, that's a bad joke. Okay. Uh, yes. Worthy. More vanities in 2020. That's also something, um, yeah, that is something that we want to do. So yeah, we, we want also more options for you to obtain these vanities. Yep. And um, the other thing is that um, we actually have something to show. Yeah, we, t we teased it a bit earlier. Uh, yeah. We have our first, uh, what are we calling it? We uh, call it the ultimate. Ultimate leader skins. Yes, ultimate, ultimate, ultimate leader skin. skins are going to be equipable on yeah, any deck of let's any show faction. It. It's Gascon, my man. Mm, he will be coming next week. Uh, yes. to the game. Say hi to everyone who likes Gascon. You'll be yeah. able to play Gascon in any deck. And this is only possible yeah. because of ability branding. Yes. Uh, prepare for the Duke of Dogs, my friends. Exactly. 2019, we decoupled leaders from their abilities, and now we're also thinking about leaders <laughs> that you can use anywhere for any faction, pretty yeah. much. Gascon's, Gascon's very flexible. Very flexible. He'll work for anyone. He's a real yeah. mercenary. You yeah, got the so money, he's, go, he's gonna he's going to work little for little monster you. comes and pays him in the right yeah. blood debt, he'll, he'll work for you. Speaking of more shinies, <laughs> you also had it in the video um, saying that we're planning some cool stuff for the holidays. So actually, we'll be doing a special winter holiday event. Yes, that'll be starting not next week, but yes. I think the week after, or even maybe the week after, but yeah. during, during the holiday break. Mm -hmm. There will be some fun Easter egg -y type events that you guys can participate in, yep. uh, including, I think, new yeah, well, let's not spoil it. There's fun stuff new coming vanities. in December. New with vanities. new vanities, yes. New vanities. Yeah, I love new vanities. Good. Midwinter update take two. No, please not. <laughs> Don't say that. All right. Uh, we're Oops. almost done, but before we jump into the Q&A session, because we'll yeah. uh, take your questions. I mean, questions for Jason, some questions for me if you have any. Uh, but before that, we actually have um, something to show you. But More we leaks! We won't talk about it though, but we'll just show it. Let's show it. There we go. Mm. Nice card back you got there. Ooh, oh, there's more. Ooh, and they move. Mm, I love those. They're pretty, pretty beautiful. They're badass. They're not beautiful. They're awesome. I love them. Ah, oh, I can't look at those all day. <laughs> but now to your questions. So if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to the chat, ask your questions. And we'll I be. love the hearts and the pog champs, but let's chill with those. When can we have some questions? I already saw one. Can we expect Bork in human form anytime soon? Not planned. Pafko Interesting Gilles. idea. But not planned. Pafko Gale as leader. Never. Mm. I thought that was going to happen. Um, new Triss cards. Not planned. Okay. Any patch coming this month? Yes. Ooh. Something unique. spectacular. Spectacular? Unexpected. Uh, Witcher Tales, number two. We already mm, said no. No, no. No, no. Not no. Uh, there's a million questions. Uh, nerfing Square Tell. No, that's not happening. Totally not. Uh, 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 pog, 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 pog. Oh, two, we just said oh, it. No. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Okay, that wasn't there then. Cyberpunk cards? No. No. No, this we'll, is we'll, we'll, the Witcher we'll, we'll card game. We'll mend the lore, we'll, we'll, you know. It's in the Bend name. it, add it to it, but yeah. not break it with yeah. Cyberpunk. Yeah, no. yeah. Uh, Nilfgaard Spice Support. Um, I think that'll be an archetype that might see some love next year. Yeah. No promises. Someone asked, how are we doing today? Jason is a little bit on the sick side. Mm. I'm doing quite well. Yeah. Chilling. My, my, my daughter is not good at coughing without her hand. She coughs right in my face. Yeah, and you got the bug now. Mm-hmm. Android release date. We, uh, for now, can only say Q1 2020. Yeah, so before the end of March. Mm. Is Dagon ever coming back? 
I'd love to. I just haven't figured out how yet. And I don't yeah. feel like just jamming him in for the sake of jamming him in. Yeah, we're thinking about um, some ways to kind of bring him back, but there were there were a lot of ideas, I remember, but there was never something 100% like solid. That, I okay, I, we want to go with this. I don't know if we'll ever do it Radovid style, but yeah, we'll see. Are leader cards and arts ever coming back in some form? I haven't planned to yet, but I'd like to use them. I mean, we have those cards. I'd like to add them to the game somehow. Okay. There was something about cycling, but I missed it. Ah, okay. I think uh, it's like maybe a question about cycling sets. We won't. No, no, no. no. Cycling in terms of oh, like biking. Yeah, but still, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll mention. Yeah, but it. cycling in terms of uh, we're not going to cycle out, ro rotate out sets, especially next year. And, and yeah. ideally, I'd like to avoid it as long as possible, if mm -hmm. if never. Um, any new faction coming no, to Blanche? I don't think we'll do another faction anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Any reworks for Siri Nova or cards that are seeing less play in 2020? Of course. We did it this mm -hmm. year, we'll keep doing it next year. Okay, cool. When it makes sense, we'll do it. Yeah. Uh, animated versions of tokens? Uh, not worth our time. Mm, I They're agree. very cool and I'd like to do them. Yeah. More artifacts in the game are kind of changing the way artifacts are overall because some people feel like they are archetype that kind of doesn't have its full place right now in the game. So, uh, artifacts, yeah? Sorry, yeah. I got lost there. Um, artifacts are in a better state today than they were a year ago. Mm -hmm. I think that's a safe statement to make. Yeah. Um, I think we're considering, mm -hmm. considering, but I may not do, just removing artifact removal from the game and yeah. just trying to balance artifacts around their provisions purely. Uh, so they're less binary, either you can remove it or not, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't think we'll remove artifacts yeah. entirely from the game. Do we plan Do we plan to do any type of like uh, full reworks for factions that we already did previously? Uh, nothing on the scale we did, especially Northern mm -hmm. Realms. I think like we were looking at stats in Northern Realms and the time was, was truly atrocious, yeah. like really bad. And, mm -hmm. and it was missing flavors and it had no keywords of its own. It, re it really needed that love, guys. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. Northern Realms was an extreme case. Yeah. Uh, we may rework an archetype, so a set of cards within a mm -hmm. faction uh, might. Um, or fleshing out some archetypes. Or fleshing maybe. out some archetypes yeah. in some ways, but I don't think we'll fully rework a faction like we did mm -hmm. with Northern Realms ever yeah. again. Do we plan a Mac uh, O's version of, uh, of Gwent? Not as of today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, main focus is mobile in this case, like yeah. full support on iOS it, it, and it, Android. It, it may come one day, it's something that we internally discuss every now and then, but we've never had the strong urge to pull that trigger because every platform we support means every release, every update we do, which is what at mm -hmm. least once a month is quite taxing on the team. Yeah. All right. Warfare card support. Can I just smile creepy? Yeah, smile creepy. I think that's a good answer. Like you can tell everything from that smile. <laughs> Spectator modes for, for friends. Maybe in 2021. Yeah. No, first we need to introduce spectator mode overall in it's, 2020. It's, it's an infrastructure thing platform. that we don't mm -hmm. really f sure that we want to invest into it right now in terms of yeah. infrastructure. Uh, but yeah. New Gwent merch, I hope. I want new Gwent merch, like yeah, a we, we, nice we, jacket. We want to yeah. make new Gwent yeah. merch. Yeah. Old Gwent music is actually a topic that I talked to the sound designers uh, some time ago, and it's difficult to rework it to the current kind of um, music system? that we have in the game. In the it's system. super layered, yeah. actually, the it's new layered. music. That's, yeah. that's something you might not notice, yes. and it means that we can't just take a soundtrack, a music track, and just put it in. Yeah, especially uh, with all the VFX happening, the leader things. And so all it's, the, it's yeah. uh, music is something we want to add to potentially next year, and yes. we, we have been with every expansion yes. to some degree, especially in the main menu, but we'll keep working on improving music. Yes. Uh, connecting Gwen and Cyberpunk guys, that's totally two different universes, what he said. Yeah. So we're not, we're bending some of the things in the, in the Witcher uh, universe, but we're not trying to collide two worlds uh, and mix it up there. Wild Hunt rework? Uh, not planned. Not yet. planned right now. It's on okay. my it's on my wish list for yeah. next year. So probably we'll do it next year, yeah. but it's not. I have I I don't even know for certain what we'll do with Wild Hunt yet. Yeah. Expansion when soon? I'm also thinking if I'm if I'm we're missing something from Bingo that I could add. <laughs> uh, we add Spectator Mode announced. Check the Bingo. Uh, faction faction redesign. Uh, I don't think we mentioned. Um, although we actually said that no no big re big redesigns, but some uh, fleshing out archetypes. 
Kind of um, like what we did with vampires, yeah? Yeah. New leader powers, probably there will be some 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 things happening here. I don't know if we'll be adding like totally new stuff, right? I think we need to keep balancing the archetypes that we yeah. have and the leader abilities that we have before we start adding more. I think we need to, to get to that really solid state. I see bribery mentioned a lot. Um, yeah. I can say that the balance of the game or the meta of the game yeah. in the next update next week will shift substantially mm -hmm. and we will talk and think about what we want to do with bribery yeah. after. Yeah. You... Discard archetype. Uh, not really planned right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that answers the question. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, so questions are, when's the next expansion coming? Do you know? Soon! That's, that's, that's a good answer. Sooner than you expect. Sooner than you expect. Yeah. Uh, 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 we did not reveal our premium cards. I'm, I'm not getting bingo here. Although someone said they, they got, you swear it a little bit. I, said I did. I tried, to, I tried to help someone win bingo. They asked for huh. it. I delivered. Huh. We did not announce the next expansion. I did not talk about food. Although I'm hungry because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go home and eat something soon. What are you going to eat? Uh, I actually eat every, every, every day for dinner. I have cottage cheese because I need to uh, keep my protein high. What's that called in Polish? Serek Vejski. No. My kid loves Serek Vejski. And we said something in Polish. Yes, that's also on the bingo list. Perfect. I know a little Polish. We actually. would. Yeah, you talk Polish very well. No problem. All right. Um, moving on. Uh, 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 what is Moo? <laughs> Remember Moo? <laughs> Moo. Yeah. Yeah. It's a well. top secret military project yes. commissioned by. Oh, wait, I'm not allowed to say. No. Okay. You can't. No. no. Just don't go there because we'll spoil something. But it's yes. an acronym for something that yeah. just turned out to spell Moo that yeah. I thought was really fun and clever and I tell Bouja we should leak Moo. We should, yeah, leak yeah. Moo. Leak yes. it. Bicycle, please. Will there be a bicycle in, um, in Gwent? No. I mean, they didn't have bikes at that time. Squadel would run around. I mean, we did a dwarven tank, sort of. Oh, oh yeah, we did. Tanks are cool. <laughs> well, we could, they could probably build a bike if they can build a, build a tank. Think about a tank. I mean, can I mean, you build a dike, you know? a bike? Blah. Mm -hmm. Last question. Dum, 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 How do you choose dum. the last question? Oh. Wait, when Gwent on Sega? Sega CD yeah. soon? Uh, I like that question. Jason's favorite faction. Let's end it on a, on a very nice note. It changes throughout the year. I think originally it was Monsters, just because mm -hmm. I liked it and it, uh, it's really fun. Um, I made a new account. Every time I make a new account to test things out, I choose a different faction. The last one I did was Nilfgaard was to simulate, so yeah. that was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I, 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 would, I don't know. I, I enjoy all factions somewhat equally. I like to yeah. jump around them. Yeah, you've kind of been going in between factions, so yeah. yeah. Except Skoya. Like, who plays Skoya, really? This guy. Yeah, I know, exactly. Best faction. Mm -hmm. like, come on, I guys. know a lot of, I know a lot of community people who play Skoya Tell. I, yeah. mean, I mean, come on. I would rather play Skellige than play Skoya Tell. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but it's still better than Nilfgaard. I mean, who would play Nilfgaard? <laughs> All right, this I guy. think that was the last one. All right, thanks guys. Thank you, uh, thank you for the questions. Hope you liked the stream. Uh, we will be posting this shortly on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. There's and lots I of things we want to do next year that yes. we haven't discussed today. This is just a general philosophy of where we're mm -hmm. going. Uh, I said last year that we're not dead and we're, we're gonna continue. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I was more bold than that, but I'll, I'll stick to that. And yeah. uh, it's not changing next year anytime soon. So yeah. uh, wish us luck. We have a lot of things that we want to give to you guys, a lot of things that we want to do. Have a great evening and keep Gwenting on, I guess. Keep Gwenting on. <laughs> and see ya. Bye. Bye.